make moss bowl. <laughs> repot my Antonii and make a moss pole. So I'm jumping on the bed. <laughs> I'm kind of nervous. I watched a couple YouTube videos to kind of help get me started and then just kind of winged it from there. We have, I don't know, how tall would you say that is? Two, two feet? Yeah, about two feet. Two feet of PVC pipe, some fishing lure to tie the moss to the pole. And then Jay has like proper cord and I have this like green coated wire to attach my Antonii. I'm kind of regretting this choice. <laughs> it's not really good though. I did it one time that was going to like cut into the stem. Mm -hmm. So we'll see, maybe try to both, see which one we like. Yeah. Um, so on top of making the mouse pole, we're also going to replant, repot our plants. <laughs> The first thing I, I saw on the tutorial I watched was that you want to soak your moss. This moss is, is, is quite soft. It just takes a moment, but the water does kind of help Do we just hold it, it together. Out? Yeah. Yeah, we're professionals. She's going to be a little messy. That's okay. Like this? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Um, Ooh. The, uh, the lady at Home Depot when I was buying supplies was like, what are you planting? It's like, uh, well, <laughs> I'm putting my Monstera on a pole. <laughs> She's like, what's a Monstera? Ah. It's like, oh. But she also said she had a lot of plants at home and then she was like, I'm going to get one of these. Start, um, you are going to, we're going to be putting it into the soil so you don't want to start from the very bottom. What if this is the very top? That could be. <laughs> that could be. Yeah, I'm gonna start at the top and go. Uh, how much how much room should we leave for burying? I'm gonna put the... mine at the bottom. Oh, you're gonna set it against the bottom. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. I might not. Because my, my pot's a bit deeper. I was so. gonna say, I might. I'm gonna start like four inches. Okay. I'm gonna start from the bottom. And then, so it's kind of like molding it around the pole and then grab the fish line and tie as you go I would assume. It'd be really great to have like four hands right now. Yeah. Uh, I'm not quite sure how you do this. Oh look. <laughs> oh look, okay, look. Now, now we ah. now we got it. <laughs> Probably don't need to use that much fishing line. I just use so much fishing line. Nope. I'm, I'm super, I'm super curious and very excited to see like if this helps. I read that this will help um, produce like larger leaves. Mm -hmm. So these plants are epiphytes, which basically means in nature they grow onto other trees and plants. Uh, so the vining plants that shoot out the aerial roots, that's their jam. So I'm sure it's only going to be like beneficial. That much happier. Yeah. It's definitely going to be a space saver because this plant is kind of wild. Grows quickly and in every direction. I'm, I'm honestly surprised because I didn't realize that it was going to be such a fast grower. Neither did I. It was definitely like the easiest to propagate out of any plant. So fast. So far. It's also been the most rewarding plant for me so far. Oh really? Mm hmm Why is that? For to be able to take a piece, propagate it, plant it, mm -hmm. just have this very like satisfying feeling that I did it F up. <laughs> <laughs> I did it. That, that was great. Did. Okay, so I went kind of crazy on my fishing line. <laughs> I did. I'm probably just going to keep going crazy. Going crazy. There are no rules here, you know? Sure. How are you coming along? I think it's going swell. I, you know. My only concern is like, how is this going to hold up? 
Like maybe putting something around the outside would be wise. So I saw, right, they have like a netting on Get away, please. On the other one. <laughs> Lucky. She got back in. How do you feel? You just looks really good. I feel like it's going all right. I just like I said, I'm worried about the longevity. Yeah. I mean, if it doesn't work out, I just take it out and try again. Or true. Just. I feel like I'm uh, like roasting a kebab on an open flame. <laughs> I think it's like so far from being all the way even across. But you know what? <laughs> Art subjective. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I thought it would like mold easier than this. Yeah, I did too. I'm excited to see how long this will retain the moisture for. Okay. This is quite, it's quite. Absorbent? Yes. There you go. I was like running through the adjectives in my, in my head. <laughs> <laughs> I would say that the only downside to doing it, to going this route for me personally, is just the mess. But I'm no stranger to a big mess. <laughs> so. Messes can be clean, you know? And also the amount of. So I got this sphagnum sphagnum moss sphagnum moss from Home Depot. It was like five dollars for this bag, and I really expected for one bag to make one hole, but that's not even not the case. I'm maybe at half the bag, and I still have plenty in here to do the top. Did you know that you can propagate in sphagnum moss? No, it's like actually probably more ideal than really. Yeah. Shouts out to Summer Rain Oaks for teaching Ooh. me that one. But yeah, you can use it to propagate. That's super cool. And to ship plants. Okay, actually. so that's what... To ship the uh, rooted cuttings. So if anybody would like a cutting of our Monstera Adansonii, let us know. Yep. If that would be of interest to you, we can ship them to you. If you want to be plant pals. <laughs> Oh my god, we should do like you, pen pals, but with plants. That is a fantastic idea. Oh my god. That is a fantastic <laughs> idea. Wow, who wants to be our friend? <laughs> Have you taken some more cuttings? No, that was on my list of things to do right now today during this process. I have on my window seal, I want to say there's 16 cuttings oh my on my window seal. I ended up cutting off two more vines because they, they were just, they were going every which direction and I really honestly just didn't want my kids and my cats to bump them and break them. I figured it'd be safer just to go ahead and propagate, yeah. yeah. Now we can definitely make plant pals yes. happen. <laughs> no, yeah, I can take some off of mine and I think that's cool. I was like, See the whole thing unravels. Right. <laughs> so you're gonna have lots. If you're like me, you're gonna need lots and lots <laughs> of fishing line. Um, if if I was just using one line by myself, I would literally just keep it attached. That way you can just do the spool around and not have to keep cutting like we do. But rules for like lesson learned. Hindsight. Hindsight. And the reason you want to use PVC versus wood or the like is obviously so it doesn't rot away. No mold going on in her. So if you're thinking about using a stick, don't do it. Mm -mm. And it was, it was super cost efficient. This was like a 15 foot piece of PVC pipe for oh yeah? $2.50. Oh wow. Yeah. I spent $5. No, no, no. I, it was seven seventy-seven for the moss, the pole, and the pool of wire. I already had the fishing swing, but that's only a couple of dollars. I mean, yeah, super affordable DIY. DIY. Do yourself it. <laughs> I just like to. I like to make up my. I don't even try and make up my own words. It's just that's how I see it in my mind. Oh, I like how yours is. I don't. You don't. I feel it's quite sturdy now too. I'm super curious, do the arrow roots attach to the moss? They will. They will. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the idea. Eventually. I wasn't sure if they would like snake like in and out through the moss. 
they bury themselves in it, twine. That's really neat. Okay. It's as good as it's going to get. Those are quite sensational. <laughs> Sphagnum kebab, anyone? This part for me is still, still it is intimidating and it's the very first time. Pulling your most prized possession plant out of its oh, home. Yes. Jay is a professional. Oh, this should not be as Says so you who's repotted like <laughs> 10 times more plants than I have. <laughs> You're the real pro. But you've repotted your, your babies. Oh, my stringer pearls? Yes. I am. Um, You're right, that was a... Uh, Quite the yeah. experience. Okay, this is like the telltale time. What wow, do these ribs look like? Mouth. OMG. Oh my goodness. Do we see those roots, everybody? I was not expecting that. <laughs> well, she needed a new pot. That she did. That's crazy. And I had no idea. Yeah, I was not expecting that. <laughs> so. I kind of wish I would have gotten a slightly larger pot. <laughs> yeah, I thought about that too, but honestly, I can always repot it again. And you yours is pretty, pretty wide though. They're not, um, it's not sort of root bound though. Did you see how like loose they just, they just fell mm -hmm. right down? <laughs> oh my goodness. That's insane. Also super exciting to see like, the plant right, all the structure, yeah. I definitely don't want to break it up too much because I don't want it to be like that pearl situation, which I feel like it could very easily become. Yeah. I don't think this isn't just one vine. This is a lots of little pieces put in the same pot together. That's typically how you make a fuller plant. You just continue to put propagated pieces back into the pot with the main plant until she's luscious and beautiful. I like this uh, really wide mouth just because I wanted my plant to have some room to expand, but I didn't want to sit super tall because of where I'm putting her on the shelf. There we go. There oh she my goodness! <gasps> so many roots. How is that even a thing? <laughs> I'm, I'm so confused. I'm blown away because you couldn't see him through the bottom of the, the right. pot. Mm -mm. Yes. Okay, I was not expecting these roots to be so large. Like, oh my gosh. It's a little bit crazy. Like a whole... Oh my goodness. Look at those. Oh, yeah. Crazy. Word. All right, go on then. 